Hey, I'm John, and for this project, I've created a full-stack e-commerce site using Python and Django. Let's dive in. Here we have the index page of all active listings, and you'll notice I'm not logged in, so I only have access to active listings and categories in the nav bar. Categories is a select menu listed alphabetically, which displays all the active listings per that category. Art, books, and electronics, for example, but more categories can be added. Under Active Listings, if I click on a particular listing's details, like Mendel's Chocolates here, for example, you'll notice it displays the listing title, description, number of watchers, current price, time of the last bid, number of bids, comments, and number of comments, but because I am not logged in, I am unable to comment or bid. So I'll log in as Lobby Boy, and we see I now have access to Closed Auctions which is currently empty, and watch list here, which displays listings in that particular user's watch list, and create listing, where I can create a new listing. Back on the listings page, if I click on a listing like Boy with Apple, I can now add it to my watch list, and we'll see the watchers count increase, along with the listing being added in the watch list tab. I also have the ability to make a bid. If a bid is lower than the current amount, we see bid failed here, but if the bid is higher, we see it successful, the new bid is updated to the current price and added to the bid total. I can also comment, this is expensive, and my comment will be added along with the time that particular comment was placed. Now I'll create a new listing, title will be Lobby Bell, description, if you ring it, I will come, let's say $15. I'll add an image URL for category, let's say other. I'll click submit, and we'll see Lobby Bell is under the active listings page. And since Lobby Boy is the owner, we see they have the option to close the auction, but the bid functionality has been removed. I'll sign out and sign in as another user. Wes here, for example, who has a listing with various bids, like this dog poster here and I will close the auction. And we'll see I'm notified the auction has closed. The current price is now the winning price. And if I go to the closed auctions tab, we'll notice the listing there along with the winner of that auction. And finally, if I log back in as Lobby Boy, go to details of the closed auction, we'll see Lobby Boy has been notified they won the auction. Now I'll log into the Django admin, and we see the data models I've used, alphabetized. And in the listings model, for example, I've used the list display method in admin.py to showcase these particular data points. And back in my VS code here, some particular areas of note under settings.py, I've adjusted the time zone to East Coast, since I'm here in New York. And I've also added the message tags so they can be utilized via Bootstrap in my HTML. And in my HTML here, I've made use of Django's humanized template filters. For example, int comma here displays the comma in the thousands place for a bid, and natural time here displays the time and counts backwards from that moment. And that concludes this project. My name's John, and this was CS50W's Commerce.